a natural, we decided a few years ago to have it. This think tank was impossible. And it happened in Barcelona. You've been not there, but he was there. To convince Frank Stevenson, the legendary, you know, you know the guy, to lead this, to be the chairman. And under his leadership, we started what uh, was probably the mission impossible. To check almost every concept car from every angle. Obviously, we like design, all of us, but we go beyond just the likes. So we check, uh, as, you, as you saw already, everything like recyclability, like uh, what kind of technologies is, uh, and especially how future-proof are these things. Because we want, as Autobus, as you know, to tell the people what is worth and what is not. And when we did this um, survey this year, we realized how many concept cars are really bullshit marketing. And nothing, nothing works for the people. Just some nice exercise, nice ideas, but they will never ever become something. So, under this uh, fantastic uh, work, which is uh, for the first time in, uh, in the history of motoring writing for sure, maybe the pro car manufacturers can do that because they have specialists, but we don't. And this uh, was the reason to organize that uh, nice round table with you. Thank you for your help because you, your company is the first one in the world admitting that an internal combustion engine with hydrogen is not zero emission vehicles. The only one. None of the others want to admit that. So thank you very much for saying the truth. For the sake of the truth, here we are, and I want you to take over the first award. The future is here in our history. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Should I make a picture or something or yes. you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So thank thank you very much uh, Dan. Uh, thank you very much our best uh, jury. I think it's uh, of course, always for us, first a pleasure to have you around. So it means that we are alive and kicking the different motor shows. As you've seen, we've decided to come to the Paris Motor Show and try to play the game. I think um, automotive industry without this kind of events is something different. So uh, sometimes I don't understand why the others are not are, are not willing to participate to invest some money. Right. Yeah. So I, I think it's I think it's, I think they're pretty stupid. Let's be honest. We know a star. We know a star like that. Yeah. Who could give that here? No, no, no. You know. Yeah. Star is. Like yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think I mean how many events the you know in the on even another sector they they can attract like three hundred four thousand five hundred three hundred thousand four hundred thousand five hundred thousand people. I mean maybe I don't know. Except in C S and maybe uh, some form. Formula Formula One uh, Grand Prix or or I don't know or Jay Z or I don't know Paul <laughs> uh, you know these are the kind of and not to come here it's also I don't I don't think it's a very wise decision also because our our sector is about uh, you know physical experience you know the product you touch you feel like you smell you look at etc and even in the in the in the year of metaverse. Which will probably come. This thing will always have a meaning in, in, in our mind. So, on the concept car, I have to say, I think I'm going to win the prize every year because if you are looking, if, if you, if you are looking uh, for for concept car, concept, concept car that makes sense, uh, you know, I always try to do things that are not only styling exercise. But uh, I always try to do things that are very close to what will come into the market, okay? And it's the case of the Renault 5 here, the Renault 4. I mean, if you cut the, let's say, the, the bottom out, it's basically the car. And I remember that that time, maybe you don't, I don't know if you know the story, but the briefing I was giving to, to the designers and engineers, said, okay, we're gonna develop an ESG strategy, which is so important right now for many reasons in the company. And uh, our ESG strategy is very pragmatic and revolves on two, three things. Which one? This one is safety for our customer, our employee, uh, environment, um, and, uh, 
uh, sorry, and, and the inclusion part, okay? So I, I said to the guys, I want uh, you guys to translate those three concepts into a car. Because in the automotive industry, until the people don't touch a car, they actually don't, un don't get the point, okay? So we did that car with a lot of uh, women involved into the team. We did the car with 70% uh, recycled material. We did the car with the technology that will allow 70% reduction of, of potential accidents, not looking at urine cap and all these things becoming all, all overcomplicated and maybe a kind of a supplier's lobby to put uh, technology that people don't really need, but focusing on the things that really count to avoid people doing accidents because maybe they're drunk, because maybe they're not in a condition, maybe they go too fast, etc. And, uh, you know, uh, let's say at the end of the result is something that is 2024 in terms of external design, 2028 in terms of interior design, and probably 2030 when it comes to mid-range hydrogen with battery. Okay, so it's a real thing. And it's actually also something that is evolving. So it's something that will improve and improve, we'll keep the kind of the design, maybe we change the painting, but the content of it will get better and better. Uh, so, and we're going to do a lot of things like this, so I think, I guess I have to put, uh, you know, some, make some space <laughs> to win, to win uh, all the next uh, 12 editions of the prize, and maybe to organize such kind of things. So thank you again, uh, you are, I see a lot of old friends here, so it's a pleasure to see you and uh, welcome to Paris. Thank you. Look, I, I have a special uh, news for you, actually, I'm not sure you do not know already, but I will say, on stage in Strasbourg, when we had the last gala, we had a new member of the Mendes Hall of Fame. And I said on stage that the record, the youngest guy, was Luca De Nero, followed him until in Istanbul, 2000, 2000, in Istanbul. 2009 in Istanbul, till today. <coughs> no, he's the youngest. Younger than you. No, no. Younger than you, Bill. No. Matt Ah, mythical. I, I love this guy. Very really great guy. Good guy. Very good guy. Very good guy. Well, you know, uh, your records are there to be broken. Yeah. Gil, <laughs> you want to say a few words? Sorry. Oh, ah. well, thank you. Uh, well, thank you, everybody, again. Um, well, this, this concept has been an amazing adventure, actually, because he challenged us big time. So um, at design, we for a long time now, we try not to do just styling, but proper design thinking behind everything. Um, and we were trying hard to go deep into this concept and to, um, to give meaning and content to this concept. Um, but he's always pushy. <laughs> he's always thinking further and thinking harder and deeper. So he, we, we had a lot of push and challenge from, from you, Luca, and uh, it, it took us further than we thought, uh, which for once, it's amazing you know, to have a boss like this on stage. <laughs> uh, so, so it was a, an amazing project for us, and I've, I've been asked along interviews today, you know, oh, what's your best concept car of your career? And uh, for me, this is one, in fact. I, I was explaining that it's not the super car, like uh, one meter ten high, and it's not those uh, crazy things. It's exactly this one for exactly this reason. It has content and meaning. It seems meaningful to the future. So thank you for this, because it's the right way to go, I believe. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Hello,